Okay, I think I'm in my orbit. I think I'm getting close to getting out of the Kuiper Belt. Ugh, I wish being a planet. Okay, I can't get distracted. <gasps> Pluto! Well, I haven't seen this in a while. Where have you been, brother? Oh, you know, hanging out with Eris, going to Makimaki's art sale, meeting Uranus and Neptune after years, all that. Well, I'm glad you had fun. Thanks, Sharon. Sorry that I was gone for a little while. It's okay, Pluto. We all have patience. Yeah, I agree with Hydra. <laughs> Thanks, Hydra and Styx. You're, You're welcome, welcome, Pluto. Pluto. Yeah, yeah, take, take your, your time, time Pluto. Pluto. Thanks, Kerberos and Nyx. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Oh yeah, we saw a strange dwarf planet. He had an oval shape, he was gray and red, and he had rings. Hmm. Was their name Hamea? I saw that on Eris' map. We're unsure of what their name is. Hmm. Well, I'm not really sure. I'm just now starting to meet some new dwarf planet friends. Hey, Pluto! What's up, man? Uh, can you guys go somewhere else for a second? <sighs> What's up, Neptune? So, how's things been, man? Uh, pretty good, actually. I'm starting to meet new friends and stuff, so yeah. Well, that's good. Hey, listen to me, man. I don't care what the other planets say or what astronomers say. He'll always be a planet in my core. Aw, uh, thanks, Neptune. All the other planets just don't care about me and stuff, but you, you'll always be there for me, right? Yep, even when the sun will turn into a red giant in a few billions of years. I mean, you are the closest planet to me. Yep, that's right. Anyways, I'm gonna go check on my moons. See ya, Pluto. Okay, see ya, Neptune. <laughs> <laughs>